have you ever wondered how you can produce your social media profile pictures in a software like GIMP? Well, today we're going to show you how. Welcome to the Doug Houston YouTube channel. This is a channel where we do tech reviews, how to's and software tutorials just like this one. If you haven't already done so, why don't you click the subscribe button and check the bell so you get notified each and every time we go live with a new video. In today's video, we're gonna learn how you can simply do your profile pictures for your social medias, your YouTube, Facebooks, and Twitters in GIMP. Now GIMP is a free Photoshop alternative. So why don't you download it now and you can follow along. Let's head over to the computer. Here we are on my Mac. Now with GIMP, you can be on Mac, Windows. You can download GIMP if you don't already have it at GIMP.org. The link will be down in the description, of course. Let's fire up GIMP first of all. It'll take a second or two and we'll get right into the tutorial. Okay, once you've got GIMP open, you'll basically have some of the default windows open. Now, the first thing we need to know uh, in doing profile pics for the various social medias, the YouTubes, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the Instagrams and so forth, is we need to know what size they prefer. On the screen right now is a list from a website that I found that summarizes all the major social medias and their profile pitch sizes. As you can see, they vary, but one thing they do have in common uh, that they're all square uh, the link to the website there is also in the description so uh, you can check that out for yourself and just to acknowledge the team that put that together looks like it was over at GoDaddy on a forum now if we look at that list there you can see that the biggest size there is the YouTube one which is 800 by 800 pixels and because they're all the same dimensions as in they're all square all we need to do is do the biggest size and then scale accordingly down to the various sizes that we may, may or may not need for the uh, different social medias. One thing to note is, is they're usually minimum. Sometimes you can upload larger files and it will take those as well. But you want to make sure that you have them at least as big as what's required. If you like to scale them as well, once we've done the, the completed one at 800 by 800 for YouTube, you can scale accordingly and upload the identical profile picture to your Twitters, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, your Snapchats and your other places. So let's get into it. First of all, we've got a blank canvas here. So first thing we want to do is go up to File, New. And there'll be various templates here, but obviously they're standard templates for different sizes. We want to do a custom. So we're going to do the 800 by 800 because it's the largest one that we use for YouTube. I'm going to just bring down advanced options. The thing I'm going to do is change the fill with transparency. This is key, particularly if you've got a logo and you don't have a, a specific color background for it. You want it to be uh, integrated onto whatever you happen to use your logo on. So I'm going to go with that transparency for this uh, tutorial. So here we go, 800, 800, OK. And what you see is we open up with a square here we're going to scale oh, it's a little bit big zoom out there uh, so it fits our work area all we need to do is bring in the uh, items that we want to use for our logo um, it could be your photo it could be a logo you may already have done or you might want to design a logo now i'm not going to get into the events all the different things because you could go totally many different ways with gimp you can throw in your text you can do your shapes you can bring in images elsewhere so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a mock-up of something similar i have for my channel so i'm going to bring my photo so i'm going to open as a layer and i'm going to navigate to I'm going to bring in the photo here that I have. As you can see, it's a little bigger than the 800 by 800. So, of course, you can scale that and so forth. You can do crops and things. So, we're just going to... I'm just going to, in this case, I'm just going to move it into place to make it fit. You can see that this image has like a crop down the side here. So, I'm going to push it into the corner there. I'm just going to drop that down. 
to there. Now, that could be my logo as it is. So we could go with that. We can do various things. So we can we can give it a background. We can put some text on it. So let's just let's just add some text just for the purpose of the tutorial, just to show different more than one layer. Because me whacking on a photo, you could just upload your photo, and in, on some of the social medias, you can you can crop and and zoom in, zoom out. Some some will just take them as is and and deal with them. We want to have something that's, that's ready to go. Now I haven't centered that or anything, but we're just going to use that as is for the purpose of the tutorial. And I'm simply just going to go in the filters and add a drop shadow, and a light shadow, drop shadow. Um, we'll say opacity. Let's make it about 75. We can do some different things there. We can change the layers. You can see the drop shadow. Uh, creates an additional layer for the drop shadow so if you want to move the text make sure that you use the chain to join them together so then you can move the the text and the drop shadow together but we're going to move that back down there for now and this is basically this is probably not a, a logo i would use it's, in fact my channel logo is simply my this <laughs> we're going to use this we're just going to put that in we can add some stuff in the background there by selecting the background and maybe adding a shape or adding a let's add we can add a let's change that to something contrasty like a yellow fill with foreground colour so we've got a shape now I would never do this in a million years but I'm just showing that you can put add a shape to the background or add it as another layer and put it behind your head I, my preference is to add add different things as layers if it was like a channel totally about gimp we could add the gimp logo on mobile devices these these little logos are quite small now the best some of the best things are simply your your, your face or if you've got a, a logo already designed that's probably the best thing to pop in there add that we've added that it's, it's gone to the background there so we can move that in front of me just so we can move it around we could Say, hey, it's me. Something like that. Here's me. It's me, Doug Use on YouTube. Yeah. So we can do something like that. Let's just save that because that's it. Now, to export, what you want to do is go File Export. And you want to export it as a PNG file. So you can actually go down the bottom here and extend this and find PNG. PNG will preserve the trans any transparencies that you have. In this case we've got our background is totally transparent uh, so we're going to use that. So um, we've got that our tutorial profile pick PNG and we'll export that. Gives us some things there. I usually just go with whatever the default is which includes say background color is checked. So that's simple. See, because that's now 800 by 800, we've just exported that as 800 by 800 for say, something like YouTube. Say we want to go uh, Twitter, which is 400 by 400, we could simply go uh, image, scale image, and just change your width to 400 here. And the height will automatically change because they're linked for aspect ratio and just scale. It reduces down to 400. Boom. And then you can just export that as a 400 by 400. Maybe you could go uh, profile image 400 by 400, give it a name so that you can, when you're finding them, uh, to upload them to your social media. You're able to know what size it is because when you look at them, maybe a preview, they're all going to look the same. So there's our, our image. We're going to, I'm just going to export that one. Just export as, I'm going to go. 400 by 400 in the title name put a space in there just to export and export so we've saved we've saved two versions of this now one it's 800 by 100 for youtube and one at 400 by 400 for twitter now all you have to do is use the uh, features in twitter facebook to upload uh, all the various uh, social medias uh, whichever social media you use it should be a fairly straightforward process of uploading your uh, created uh, profile image 
uh, they, they all give pretty good uh, instructions on how to do those some of them may be a little bit more technical if you're new to YouTube for example you may have to like delve into your creative studio and figure out how to upload that but it shouldn't be too difficult to do uh, face, Facebook and, and Twitter in particular are very easy so that's it that's a, simple, a simple way of using GIMP to create a profile picture if you're planning ahead do the largest social media size that, that you're going to do and then the scale accordingly to make your different versions and upload them straight to your social medias then you'll get a uniform uh, presence and professionalism across all your social media channels now i certainly wouldn't use this one that i've used here as you see uh, if you look at my youtube one it is simply my face as simple as that and nothing fancy these words if you use text the text is going to come up quite small and you'd probably not even be legible depending on how much you put in there my recommendation is not to use text but if you want to you can that's it quite simple and uh, back to me for some closing thoughts that's it today's tutorial on how to do your profile pictures for your social medias using the GIMP software I hope it was helpful to you if it was give it a thumbs up if it wasn't helpful at all, give it a thumbs down. And if you want to check out more stuff like this, why don't you subscribe so you get the notifications when we post more videos, or you can check out what we've already got for you right now, here and here. And as I've said before, don't forget to subscribe. We've got more stuff coming for you guys. Check it out soon, all over the Doug Houston YouTube channel. Catch you later.